Are you struggling with a sewing pattern? And no matter how many adjustments you make, it just won't fit the way you want. Maybe you're like me and you've watched too many episodes of Project One Way, so you think with a little bit more time and effort, you can make it work. I don't know about you, but I'm done wasting time with patterns that don't fit. Today I'm sharing why I decided to stop and the realization I had during the sewing process. So keep watching. Hi, I'm Tony, and this is So So Lounge. I'm super excited we're hanging out together. I have been struggling with this pattern and this garment for several weeks now, and I just recently decided that I'm done. I should have figured this out sooner, but I really kept just trying to get it to fit the way I wanted, and it's just not working. And there comes a time when you need to decide when you're done. And that day has come. I was actually getting ready to start ripping this entire thing apart, and then I realized, no, no, make a video about it, share it with your viewers, and let them know the level of frustration you've reached with these patterns and warn others. What pattern am I talking about? I am talking about the Kiyomi top from the Everyday Style book by Lotta Jan's daughter. And this is what it looks like on her in the pictures in the book. And that's not what it looks like on me. Now, this is the kind of book where you have to go and trace all the patterns onto your own paper, transfer all the marks and do all the work to then still have to cut it out, transfer more marks, and then put the whole thing together, which in theory, I don't have a problem with. But this top does not fit the way that it looks like it should fit. It is super voluminous. And I tested it in a muslin first and just a mock-up to see how the fit would be. It fit okay. The dress version was horrible. So if you saw that video, you can see how awful that was. Um, that's the making a mock-up video. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I tried it out, the dress was awful, scrapped that idea, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna try the top. The fabric I have is a little bit stiffer than muslin. This is a waxed cotton, and I adjusted the pattern when I transferred it. I was like, okay, it's a little bit full for me. I don't wanna look like it's maternity wear because I am not pregnant. And I took out an inch from the side seams. Okay, front and back, took out an inch. Okay, let's see how that looks. Put on the top, still too big in the arms. I had grandma help me adjust the arms. We, we trimmed out the shape of the arms. I took in the side seams another three quarters of an inch on each side, and it still doesn't fit. And as I was sitting at my sewing machine, getting ready to rip this whole thing out, I decided that I needed to just stop so I'd have something to show you today. So this is what it looks like. This is actually inside out. And I've tried everything I could possibly think of to make this work the way that it should work. And, you know, I don't really know a lot about Lotta Jan's daughter. And other than that, she's a, a textile artist and that she had somebody help her with the patterns. She had a pattern maker for the book. But the patterns in the book all look so much better than the actual patterns when I transfer them and then make them up in fabric. And it's very frustrating because I know how to make patterns. I know how to make my own patterns. I did this back in college. That's where I learned to do all this stuff. I haven't done it in a while, but making patterns this basic and then testing them out should be something you do when you make a book about patterns to make sure that most people can use them. These are not complicated styles. This is not a complicated process, but the fit is wrong. And several of you who have watched my other videos where I talked about my aspiration to make these various garments have said, mm, I really wasn't impressed with the book and I don't really like the way the patterns fit, but good luck. Thank you, I needed it. And it did not really help me here, but that's okay because it's been a learning process. And one thing I learned is that there comes a time when you need to just be done with something. And 
that's the time with this pattern. Like I've done everything I can possibly do. I gathered it the right amount. I took a lot of width out of the seam allowances to try and fix the volume that just pooches out. And even though taking it in at the sides, it's just, it's not going anywhere. There's nothing I can do to fix this at this point other than take the whole thing apart. And that's where I am right now. I had planned to make a skirt from this book. And that's actually the first thing I tried, which went horribly wrong. And I attribute it to the fact that I didn't make a muslin first. I didn't make a mock-up to test it out. I just looked at the pattern and thought, that looks like that would fit me. And it does. It looks like it would fit me. It doesn't look like it won't fit me. It doesn't fit. There's no ease in the skirt at all, which you kind of expect that when they give you pattern measurements, it would work. And you'd say like, okay, these are my measurements. So this is the size range I'm in. And you would assume that there was ease built into that pattern. Not that you'd have to figure out what it is and work it out yourself. So thankfully I have a lot of this fabric. I have already started ripping apart this skirt and I think I can use a different pattern and get it to fit and salvage these two pieces with some additional yardage I have. So it's not a total loss. But that's why I made the mock-up of the Kiyomi top. And it just didn't make a difference. And so when you think about how much time I've spent, or I think about how much time I've spent on this project, it's been way too long. It hasn't been fulfilling. It's been more frustrating than it's been fun. And I'm done. So I'm not gonna sew any more patterns from this book. I will use it for inspiration. The the colors are beautiful. The fabric designs are beautiful. They do have some really good uh, ideas for scraps and things to do with scraps that I have not seen other places. So, you know, I might do a scrappy little project one day, um, but I think it needs to just go sit on the shelf with some of the other books. And I'll go through my collection and see what else I can be inspired by and figure it out. But we are done with a lot of Jan's Daughter Everyday Style. Initially, I'd planned to make a tunic top with this beautiful fabric over here. I'm not doing that. I'm not even wasting my time to make the muslin. I've looked at the pattern. I, the darts look weird to me on the bust. I'm not sure if the sleeve's gonna fit, so I'm just gonna scrap it. We'll save it for another day. Have you tried sewing with this book? Because I would love to know your experience, if it was similar to mine, or if you had a better experience, because I would really like that somebody had a good experience with this book. So leave a note in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. So in the midst of my struggles, I came to the realization, I had a great revelation that these patterns are not great. And I can make my own patterns better than the patterns in this book. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. I haven't really done much pattern work in a while, in years, actually, really a long, long time. Um, let's not pretend, it's been a long time. And I always enjoyed making patterns back in college. Like that was my, one of my things, like I really enjoyed doing it. I wasn't great at it, but I've become more meticulous <laughs> since then. So I know I can do a better job making some patterns to go with some of the things I wanna make. And I was actually looking through my pattern cabinet to see if I had a kind of a tank um, with some darts uh, that would work with this fabric. Cause once I take these gathers out, I'm gonna have a lot more fabric and I didn't ever cut off the three quarters I took in. So that seems still in there, I haven't trimmed it. So once I rip it all out, I think I'm gonna have a decent sized top, but I don't have a pattern that makes this kind of a garment. So I thought that would be the perfect thing to start with. It is very basic, it is a round neck, put in some bust darts and adjust the side seams, maybe put in a little curve so they fit a little bit better. And you know, it's a little bit more fitted through the waist area and see how it goes. If you would like to see that, or at least hear about the process, let me know in the comments below because it's something I've kind of been toying with, but I don't know if you guys wanna watch that. So let me know. I'd love to hear back from you. And if you're wondering how it all started, you totally want to check out this video coming up next. I go into details about my plans for 2023 
including some designs from the Everyday Style Book, which won't be happening anymore. You don't want to miss it, so keep watching.